Hey guys, it's me, Edward Vane, and for today, we are going to review the Machinic or Mechanic K500B61. I know some people pronounce this brand in different ways. Some people call it Mechanic, some people call it Machinic. For me, I'm just going to call it Machinic. But also some people call it the K500 Mini. So this is a 60% mechanical keyboard. Inside the box, you get, of course, the Type-C L-shaped cord. It's white. You also get the manual. And last but not least, you get a switch and keycap puller with two extra switches over here. Now, as you can see, the RGB is actually quite bright. Let me turn off the light so you can properly see. There you go, guys. The RGB is terrific. By the way, these have floating keycaps, so it's easy to clean and easy to remove the keycaps. You also have the brand and model name over here, Machine K500 at the bottom and also at the top. Let's... Let's take the let's take the cable off first. So at the back, you can see two kickstands over here. There we go. This is actually quite light. Actually, I have a light at 60% mechanical keyboard, but I have experience around 500 grams. Okay, let's let's check the keycaps, the switches, and the PCB. So let's just take the enter keycap over here. All right, of course. Once again, since this is a well-known brand. They come in double shot keycaps, really nice. And for the switches, we have red switches over here, because I love linear switches. We're, we're, we are looking at, we are looking at Huanu switches over here, okay? Huanu switches. Not bad. Now for the PCB, we have a three pin north facing over here. Really nice. So let's put the switch and keycap back. All right, so it has RGB, it's hot swappable, uh, floating keycaps as well, really nice. It's, it's not wireless, I'm not sure if there's going to be a wireless version, but so far, I, there are a lot of mechanical keyboard enthusiasts that don't mind a wired mechanical keyboard. Okay, now one thing that I've noticed about this keyboard is that, of course, it has no print screen button, so that could be a hassle for some, including me. Okay, a print screen button or a print screen shortcut is what I am used to, especially for my line of work. So I really wish that this had a print screen button. If this keyboard does look familiar, well, it's basically a Red Dragon Fizz clone. Yeah, so the Red Dragon Fizz, the Yusu Z11, and the K500 Mini are basically the same, but the main difference with the, with the K500 Mini is that it's super light, mainly because there is no frame to it. Now, let's check out the typing test and then the sound test of this. Alright guys, before I give you my final thoughts of this mechanical keyboard, I want you guys to know that there is a driver for this. You can download it in their official website. You can change the RGB or lighting effects of this. At default, it has neon streams, but you know, I really like the default version, so I don't really touch this driver much. And you can make it sync with music if you're playing music in your computer. Now, let's take a look at my final thoughts of this mechanical keyboard. I have to say, I love it. This is the lightest. 60% mechanical keyboard that I have ever tried. Amazing. And I really like the keycaps, the overall design to it, the floating keycaps, the hot swappability, and this is the brightest keyboard I have ever experienced. And the only thing that I don't like about this mechanical keyboard is that it does not have a print screen button. A print screen button is very, very important for me because I like to take pictures, I like to print screen, you know, conversations to show as proof for my work, stuff like that. And the wired version is pretty much okay because like I said, there are many P 
people who prefer it on while you're bored. And, you know, the weight is, like I said, very light for 500 grams. But if you don't like a light board, you can always mod it. And yeah, oh, and one thing that I do really love about this pickup keyboard are these stabs. I like the sound of this. Incredible. It does not sound rattly at all. So anyway guys, for 1,300 pesos, shop your links below. This keyboard will be great for you if you like 60% mechanical keyboards. What's the difference between this and the Red Dragon Fizz? Well, the Red Dragon Fizz does have a frame to it, and since it has a frame, you really have to use a keycap puller here. You can easily just take off the keycaps using your fingers. As you can see, I'm taking off the escape button right now. Amazing. And it's also easier to clean. Anyway, guys, my rating for this mechanical keyboard for 60% basically a 9 out of 10. So thank you guys so much for watching my video guys and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!